Hey guys, my name is Joseph from josephmastery.com and welcome back to another WordPress tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the search form and the results page. So we're going to add a search form right here and a search page that will lead into it. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. Okay. So we're going to add a form right now, right here. So WordPress is a default function. So right below, inside the site header, underneath the main header, we're going to add a div tag called top search. Inside that, we're going to have a PHP function called get search form. Now this will lead into a WordPress's default search form. And if you want to customize the search form, uh, you can create a new file and call it, I believe, searchform.php. And from there, you can customize the default WordPress um, search. But we're not going to do this in this tutorial. We're just going to stick with the default one. And we'll save that. So now if we refresh the page, just like that, it there's a search form already there for you. Now we want to move this to the right, though. So we want to flip that to the right. And because we wanted this to be aligned with the header, we'll flip this to the left as well. So, um, but because of we're floating, we need to add another div called clear fix. If you guys don't have that div, uh, if you're floating left and right, you need to clear both. So add this class called clear fix right here. And it just has clear both in it. So just make sure you have that. Okay, so underneath the header, I'm going to make a new section called top search and I'm going to flip it to the right and the header here. I'm going to get rid of this padding because I want the padding to be with this top search so I'm going to give padding to the whole site header 24 pixels and the header flip left. Save it refresh the page and just like that you get this um, decent looking uh, thing. Now it looks a bit too high, so I'm going to just give it a bit of a margin. 10 pixels. There you go. Yeah, it looks a bit better. And I don't want this search for button. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. And how to get rid of that is you're going to right click and let's use inspect element. Now, this is a Chrome developer tool. And here's how you use it. So you, to, as you can see, this is what we coded up. And here, in the div class top search, this is the function get search template. So this is what WordPress is outputting. So we're going to scroll down, and here you can see here, when we hover over the label, the search for word, which is what we don't want, it highlights. So we know that this element is that. So then we'll look in the classes, and you see it's a screen reader text. But we know it's a label, and that's the only label in this div. So we're gonna we're gonna use top search and the label, and we don't want it to display, so we're just gonna display none. Refresh the page, and just like that, it disappears. So let's style these. So let's style that the button. So once again, we'll right click on it. It's an input with an ID of search submit. So we can go dot top search search submit. And now we can add some more spot stylings. We don't want a border. Uh we can go color white because the background color is going to be the body background color. And copy that. Okay. And then, what should we do? What should we do? Padding. Padding of around 5 pixels and 14 pixels. So 5 pixels top and bottom and 14 pixels to the left and right. And let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks pretty decent. But this uh, input does not match the height of the button. That looks pretty strange. So we can fix this once again. We'll get the element. In this case, it's this text. 
So the ID is S. So let's go here. Dot top search S. And let's give it a height of around 15 pixels. I don't think that'll make it top. Sorry, 20 pixels, I think. I'm pretty sure the default was 15 pixels. Yeah, that looks much better. Um, and we'll go vertical line top, but just to make sure it's always to the top. Yep, there we go. Maybe a little bit taller, just not exact. But for the moment, that looks good for now. Um, and I think we should do a font size of around 15 pixels. Yep, okay. So that's good for the search. Um, search. Thing. Um, now we can do some responsive playing around. So if we scroll to the left a bit more. Yeah, you can see it doesn't really look as good anymore. So what we can do. Let me think about this. We can float that to the left. Or like float none. Let's go down here. Uh, max width around 680 pixels. Now we'll leave it here for now. And I want to reference that so uh, it's inside site header. This is just so we can, so we don't use the important tag, which is bad practice. And let's see what we can do. Let's go float none. Refresh the page, and when you go down, yep, you can see it moves to the left. So that looks much better. Um, yeah. However, um, you can see here that there's not much margin, or there's not much gap there. So we're gonna add a little gap. And before we need to do that, we need to, uh, because at the moment, this title is, it's still floating left, and we don't want that anymore. So we're gonna go header dot site head. Once again, we're using the header tag to define what element this class is in, and this will make it more important, I guess. And top search, sorry, not top search, h1, and we want to float none. Save it. Uh, refresh the page, and there you go. You can see a little gap appeared. Okay guys, so now let's make our search results page. So at the moment if we search excerpt as I searched here, um, only the excerpt blog post with the one with the koala appears. If I search tet, which is my other post, only this one appears and probably some part of this one also has tet. So basically what we want to do is we want to customize this page because we want we don't want it to say blog, we want it to customize it. So I want to go to our index.php and copy everything, everything here, and we're going to make a new document called search.php. And this file is what WordPress uses for the search page. Let's paste everything here, and the, let's change the title to search results for, and we're making it in italics, PHP the search query and this just uh, extracts the text that you searched in press the page now it says search results for tet that was pretty easy um we'll also just do here like this yeah, it looks better yeah so every time in here hello search results for hello and what if we typed in something else like that? It says no posts found. Now we can customize that text once again. And we can make a paragraph and we'll call this here No posts match your search criteria. Please search again. Can I refresh the page? There we go. No post match your search criteria. Please search again. Um, we'll just add a little bit of styling. Margin top a bit of maybe 20 pixels. 
that's good. And we'll do the same for the index.php because at the moment that's undesired. We'll just do no posts found. Okay, so that's the search results page and let's remove the sidebar as well. Just for learning purposes. What we can do, we can go content, right? And we can just delete that. And delete the content left. We'll find what that div is. Delete that. And that. And this is only if you want to do it. I want to do it, so. I've got to do that. There we go. So if we search like hello, it should work. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll see you in the next tutorial. So thanks.